Welcome everyone to Wedding Talk. My name is Peter. And my name is Nina. And today we're going to be discussing band or DJ for your wedding. Yeah, of course we love this subject. Um, but of course we have to give a small disclaimer because we are Peter and Nina from the Elite Show Band, which does weddings every single weekend. So of course we're going to be a little bit biased to the live performance side. And of course we would love for everybody to have a live band, but there's a lot of things to consider. And a lot of options. And something that you want to consider first right out of the bat is um, the type of party that you're going to have. That's right. I think that if you're going to have a variety of age groups and it's not going to be all 20s and 30 year olds who want to hear Drake, right? Like then you really kind of having that band having like even a horn section or something like that is going to keep your grandparents happy but it's also going to keep your friends happy when they do uptown funk or whatever the case may be right sure variety and, of age groups yeah and if you want uh, more of the house techno type of feel maybe dj is going to be the best fit for you but either way there's some considerations the size of the area the cost obviously is going to be different listen if you're going to light up one light bulb and you right next to it you have eight light bulbs one is going to be brighter than the other but also there's going to be a cost consideration so if that is a consideration for you then uh, perhaps the dj might be the better option but if you really want to knock it out of the park and you you know you want to get that energy up then you know having more people is going to be more energy and a band might be the better choice for you I think what people have to remember too is, and we talk about this a lot, is the most important things are eat, drink, and be merry, mm -hmm. right? So sure. be merry is your entertainment and that feel of people dancing or whatever you want or you envision for your party. And of course, eat and drink, food and drink. These are things that are really important. If you go to a wedding yourself and the food's not very good, you're gonna go, okay, that was not a very good wedding because it's a huge ticket item on the list, right? So I would think about those types of things as you're kind of putting your wedding together. Um, another thing I would consider is if you are going band or DJ, doesn't matter, I would say make sure that they are a band or DJ who actually does weddings. If you go to a bar and you find a band there and um, that's what they do every single weekend and they really don't have the experience at a wedding, there's so much more than just playing music. It's true, all bands and DJs are not equal. Listen, hear me on this, I'm gonna repeat this. All bands and DJs are not equal. Yeah. There are specifics that wedding bands do that other bands don't do, or corporate event bands do that wedding bands don't do. So please, do yourself a favor. If you're going to invest the money anyway, choose something that is going to be the right fit for the party, because in the end, you're going to have to live with it and you're going to have to look back on it 10 to 15 years and go, hey, you know what? I wish that I had have done something a little bit differently. So we're just trying to give you that information in the beginning so you can make the right choice. So that's right. And also the MC duties. That's mm. one thing I want to talk about, which is you have to remember that somebody has to host the evening. So somebody has to introduce the bride and groom. Somebody has to keep the flow going. And when there's that awkward silence into transition for something, the person who is filling that is your band or DJ. So make sure you really like the personality of that person. Um, you want somebody happy on your wedding day. You don't want somebody grumpy or somebody who just always looks like they're not having a good time because this is your celebration. You're never grumpy. Oh, I'm never grumpy. Happy people right here. <laughs> And it's true. So 99.9% no, .9 of the time. That's no, right. um, no, totally. I think that that's something you really want somebody that when you meet them, you have that consistent feeling of, I always like this person. I always get a good feeling from them. We vibe on a good level, just like your photographer. It's the same thing with most vendors. If you like them, you feel like you get along with them, then most chances they're going to get along with your guests. Too. That's right. And we hope you enjoyed this video and all of our other videos. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not already and enjoy the content and we'll see you next time see you guys Bye -bye.